Okay, let's talk about one of the most common errors that math teachers see in algebra. Now, I don't know if it's 99% of math students, but I would say a large majority, the vast majority of math students taking any sort of algebra course. I'm talking pre-algebra, algebra, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, even pre-calculus, even those more advanced level mathematics, we'll make this error from time to time. It's so easy to make this error. So we're going to uh, cover exactly what this error is. Matter of fact, if you want to kind of play along and simplify this expression, that would be a kind of a good start. And we'll see how well you um, know what I'm going to be talking about here. But uh, it has to do with simplifying expressions that kind of look like this. But of course, I'm going to cover this real quickly. Um, as this is such a common error. And one of the best ways to get better in math is to realize, you know, what are the common errors that students make and then, of course, avoid them. So that's what I'm going to try to do in this particular video. But before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades. And over those years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. So if you're at the middle school, high school, even college level, and you need assistance in mathematics, I can definitely help you out. Check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Also, uh, in my math help program, I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. So if you're studying for the GED, SAT, ASVAB, maybe a teacher certification exam, um, you can certainly find um, a great test prep course there that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have a complete homeschool program for middle and high school mathematics. By the way, if you need a pair of excellent comprehensive math notes, I'm going to leave a link uh, or links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, please don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. But uh, let's get into this error, okay? This this common misunderstanding. And just because you um, you made this mistake doesn't mean that you made it every single time, but it's likely that all students as they learn algebra um, have made this mistake at least once. Okay, so let me go ahead and show you this expression. We have x to the fourth plus y squared over x uh, squared. So I want to go ahead and simplify this expression. And uh, here is my answer, okay? So I think this is pretty good. And let me ask you, do you think that this is a correct answer? Okay, in other words, um, I'm thinking, hmm, x squared, x to the fourth. This is x to the fourth, which is the same thing as x squared times x squared. I have an x squared here, so I can maybe cross cancel like this. That leaves me with x squared plus y squared. I don't know. What do you think? Does, uh, does this look good to you? Okay. Well, if you said, yeah, I think this is pretty good. Well, unfortunately, I must give you a sad little um, face. Generally, I like to give out happy faces. But if you said that this is correct, well, this is incorrect. Okay. But if you were tempted to kind of like, say, oh, I have an x squared, x to the fourth. If this made sense to you and your brain said, hey, this looks pretty good, let's go ahead and do this. Well, again, this is a very, very common error. But let's go ahead and take, take a look at this error with some other problems, okay? And then we'll kind of talk about why this is not correct. So let's take a look at x plus y over x, right? So this is kind of a simpler version of that one example I just showed you. And a lot of students will say, oh, here's an x and here's an x, and I could just cross cancel those x, and I'm left with y as my final answer. And I'm sure my math teacher will give me a lot of points for being so successful in math. Well, unfortunately, that's not going to be the case because you're going to get this wrong, and then you're going to have, a, again, a sad little face, and we don't want that to happen. Okay, so this is not uh, the case. Now, if some of you, if you already know that, no, you can't do that, well, then that's good, okay? But I can assure you that most students have made this error somewhere along the line. It's just very tempting, especially when you're looking for opportunities to simplify and kind of uh, reduce a fraction. All right, but let's talk about why this is not the case, okay? So here we have x, we have one number x plus another number y over the same number x, okay? So this number and this number will be the same number, and this number will be a different number. So let's just uh, use an example um, using actual numbers and not variables. So let's uh, have 2 and 2, okay? That's the same number plus a different number, 3. So if we could do this, okay, if we could cross-cancel these x, x's, our, and our final answer would just be y, 
Well, then it would work over here as well, right? We could just cross cancel and then this would just be equal to three. But is two plus three over two, is that equal to three? Well, let's kind of put this uh, here and let's just kind of um, look at this a little bit more um, kind of uh, with common sense, if you will, right? So what do I have to do here? Well, remember order of operations here, we have to do addition. Uh, this right here is actually what we call a grouping symbol. We've got to take care of this numerator. So two plus three is what? Well, that is five, okay? So we have five divided by two is the actual answer. Two plus three over two is five over two. Is five over two the same thing as three? Well, of course, the obvious answer is no, okay? So we cannot cross cancel, okay? And I'm gonna talk to you when you can, but it's very, um, it's kind of like a very intuitive uh, thing where students see these same numbers in both the numerator and uh, denominator, and you know our brains just kind of want to do this. Okay, even my brain is just like, man, oh boy, I wish the rules of math worked this way. We could just cross cancel, but that is a huge, huge mistake. Let's go ahead and take a look at another way we see this error. Okay, so what's uh, let's say we had this expression right here. Okay, a squared plus b parentheses minus c over a squared plus b. It again, it's very tempting to be able to just cross cancel these things. Okay, so um, now why is this the case? Well, because you cannot cross cancel these things right here. You can only cross cancel something called factors. Okay, factors. So what's a factor? Well, this would be an example of a factor. Two times three over two. Okay, or six over two, which of course the answer is three, but we could write six as two times three. Things that are separated by multiplication are factors. So when you have like factors in both the numerator and denominator, we could cross cancel one to one. Okay, those factors. These are not factors because this is separated by subtraction. Okay, or right up here, these things are separated these variables are separated by addition, okay? These numbers right here are separated by additions. This is a sum, okay? This is a group or a difference is a group. So these are not factors, all right? This, these are not factors. This is one big entity. And matter of fact, when you see things in algebra or arithmetic that are separated by addition and subtraction, put grouping symbols around them. It will help um, kind of uh, visually keep this as one group, okay, and hopefully will um, help you avoid making this error. Of course, right here, again, these are not factors. This is an expression uh, minus a, a variable over the same expression. So uh, when can we uh, actually factor? Well, um, when you take a look at this expression right here, what we want to do, instead of saying, oh, we have and X, we could cross cancel this way or these twos. What you have to do is look for uh, factors. You gotta rewrite things in terms of uh, factors. And the factors that we're talking about in this case is the greatest common factor. So let's go ahead and factor. We have a sum here, but we can factor out the GCF, right? And if you never heard of the GCF, well, I'm telling you what it is right now. It's the greatest common factor. And in this particular problem, this numerator right here, 2x is the greatest common factor. So 2x parenthesis 2xy, okay? If I take this 2x and multiply by 2xy, I'll get back to 4x squared y, okay? And then this 2x times that one will get me back to 2x. So you have to know how to factor in order to simplify. And then 6x we can think of as, as 2x times three, that's 6x. Now, if I showed you this expression right here, okay, 2x times uh, 2xy plus one over, even that this was 6x, you can think of this as 2x times three. This is all multiplication. This operation right here, right here is multiplication. So this is a factor, okay? This is another factor. And then this is a factor and this is a factor. So now I can cross cancel those two X's as they are like factors. Again, uh, uh, there are part of a product. Okay, we're looking for that multiplication operator. But in algebra, with all these variable expressions and fractions going on, it's easy to lose sight 
of what is and what isn't a factor, especially when you're first learning this stuff. But hopefully you didn't make this error. And if you're like, this was a complete waste of time because I already knew all this. You couldn't trick me, Mr. YouTube Math Man. Well, if that's the case, I must go ahead and give you a nice happy face with an A++ and a 110% and a few extra stars so you can feel extra special today. Nice job. Okay. But if you uh, did make this error, if you're thinking to yourself, you know what? I made that mistake somewhere along the line. Well, again you're in good company because, you know, learning mathematics is um, all about learning from your mistakes. Nobody learns math perfectly the first time, okay? What you do is you're learning a skill. You, that's why you have to do a lot of uh, practice prompts, okay? You have to practice, and if you don't get the right answer, you got to determine what went wrong and then look for trends. Look for things that you're not understanding and fixing those misunderstandings will go a long way, okay? That's why you cannot get better in math by watching me or someone else do math. You have to do a ton of practice problems. And one of the great things about my Math Help program is that I do a ton of practice uh, problems and I cover all the solutions via videos, much more comprehensive than what I do on YouTube. So that's why I really encourage you to check out my Math Help program if you need additional help in algebra or whatever particular topic. But again, if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.